Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in to our Nitro RCX tutorial section. Today we'll be talking about throttle range programming. This procedure will apply to all the Easy Run and XE Run hobby wing systems, which come equipped on our 1 tenth and 1 eighth scale brushless combo systems and our cars. So some of you may be wondering, what is throttle range programming and what does it do and why do I need to do it? Well basically, throttle range programming uh, uh, tells your speed controller where your stick is, where your throttle stick is. It'll allow it to know where neutral position is, where full throttle is, and where full brake is. Some of the symptoms of a non-properly programmed throttle range is that you may either have no brakes or once you turn the car on the wheels will start moving forward. It, it doesn't know where neutral is or if you pull full throttle and you're only getting like quarter throttle. So if you do program the throttle range, you'll ensure that you get the most performance out of your brushless system and your radio system. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it. All right, so the first thing I like to do is set up the transmitter. Uh, with the Exceed RC radio systems, you'll notice that there's two knobs to the left of the steering wheel. One's throttle trim, one's steering trim. Steering trim is basically your alignment. Throttle trim is trimming it for forward or brake or reverse. Make the throttle trim centered which is pointing the arrow straight up. You can center the steering trim as well by pointing the arrow straight up. Another thing I like to check is the dual rates. The throttle dual rate, I like to max it out. Steering dual rate, I'd like to max it out as well. If you have a digital transmitter, like a Futaba, JR, Spectrum, CoPro Pro, whichever ones, you want to have your endpoints at 100% and your throttle trim zeroed out. So after you have your radio set up, you want to look over to the speed controller. Um, this one's the easy run, which has the program button, that red button on the side right there, next to the cooling fins. On most XE run A scale systems, your button's going to be a black button on the on off switch. Uh, so there's two different buttons. On this one, it's going to be the red button, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it on this easy run. So I'm going to go ahead and start the throttle range programming. First thing you want to do is turn on your transmitter. By the way, you want to make sure your radio system is properly paired up before you go ahead <coughs> and program the throttle range. So now that I know my radio system is paired up, turn on the radio first, hold the red button, hold it down, turn the on off switch on, and then let go. You should st see a steady flashing red light. A steady flashing red light which indicates I am in the throttle range programming mode. The first procedure is to leave the throttle stick in neutral position. With the stick in neutral position, I'm going to push it once, beeped green once, I'm going to hold full throttle, push it again, beeped twice and flash green twice, I'm going to go full brake, push it again, beeps three times and your throttle range is programmed. Now I like to pick it up and test it for forward, brake, and reverse. Alright guys, that was the throttle range programming for the hobby wing systems. Now that you know how to program your throttle range, whenever you change your transmitter, your receiver, or your speed controller, you want to make sure you program that throttle range so you get the most performance out of your electronic systems. Now it doesn't only apply to hobby wing systems. Any electronic brushless system out there, you do want to program your throttle range, whether it's a plane, helicopter, boat, or car. It's a good idea to program that throttle range every time you switch out something and make sure that your radio system is working at its full potential. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos on NitroRCX.com. See you guys later.